Now, you know I wasn't going to let you get off that easy, right? <laughs> so for, 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 the, for the viewers right now, y'all don't yeah. understand. See, Marcus Freeman, he played for the Ohio State University. That's why this game is a bit different. And I'm excited, man, because College Game Day is going to be there. I work with Game Day. We do a show, Countdown to College Game Day, every Saturday. Me, Harry Lyles, Christine Williamson, have a wonderful uh, producer and Chris Cologne. <laughs> Coach. That when I get to when I get to when I when I get to Columbus, don't act like you don't know me because I'm gonna run up on you. I want interviews. I want everything there is. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All right. You heard it here. You heard it here. Now, last week, uh, our own Chris Russo put Notre Dame on the top of one of the most storied programs. What are your you know what what's your reaction to having Mad Dog rate Notre Dame number one? You know, I remember sometime in January, I was on the road recruiting and. and it became normal, right? This is, yeah. You're the head coach at Norm Notre Dame. And I remember going into a hotel room at 1130 at night and saying, listen, I want to turn on the TV for five minutes before I go to sleep. And then there's an ESPN 150 on the history of Notre Dame football. And wow. at that moment, you say, okay, right? It's probably 3 o'clock in the morning. You're laying there looking at the roof and saying, okay, this is major. And, and that's, yeah. you know, the, the tradition, the history of this program is, is unparalleled. And it's a great privilege to be the person to be the head coach of this university, but this was created way before I got here. And those that have, have done the work um, have put this place to where it's at now. Now, Coach, you see my face. Mm -hmm. You played at Ohio State University. Notre Dame being number one, I'm here to be the real. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let you know, Notre Dame is not the most storied program in college football. In, in your my, opinion. In my, in your your opinion. opinion. In my eyes. That was, yes. that was in, not in my eyes, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say it's either Alabama mm -hmm. or it's Ohio State. Mm -hmm. Ohio State's not even on the list, Coach. Now, I understand that you played them September 3rd, week one. But don't give me no political answer. I don't want no <laughs> – does Ohio State belong in the top two? It belongs in the top – discussion of, of the best college football programs in America. In Spoken like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It, is, it belongs in that discussion. Absolutely. But it's, it's funny because we had him on Keyshawn J. Will and Max this morning. I told him that I was going to get him later. <laughs> yep, <laughs> He's yep. like, oh, he got me later. <laughs> you got him. You got him. But before we go, what are your thoughts on these new uniforms you guys just revealed? Yeah, it was pretty cool. We, pretty cool. Uh, they flew me and, and two of our players, Isaiah Foskey and Mike Mayer, out to Las Vegas to uh, we play a Shamrock Series game uh, mm. versus BYU. And uh, we get new uniforms for that game every year. So they flew us out there, and, and then they said, hey, we're going to kind of do a hangover-type parody for it. And so, um, listen, I didn't get into this profession to act, but they, uh, they made us do some acting. It was really cool, and yeah. uh, the jerseys are unbelievable. They put so much detail into them, and uh, I'm excited for our players to get a chance to wear those now, Coach, I want to tell you, man, I want to tell you thank you. Thank you for being a great example yeah. for especially young people of color to be able to be in a position, but not just that, carry yourself in the right manner. Yes. Right? Show young kids that, hey, there's Marcus Freeman, the head coach of Notre Dame. I can be a head coach of any school mm -hmm. if he's there. I appreciate that, my man. Thank you. Continue, mm -hmm. continue to, to, to do things your way. Your, t your team and their reactions when they figured out that you were going to be that head coach, that hit me in my heart because as a head coach, you want to be able to reach your players in different ways, in every way possible. And I know you're able to do that, especially talking to Isaiah earlier on radio. I know you're able to do that. So that's a blessing to have. And I hope Notre Dame realizes how much of a great guy that they actually have as their head coach of their program. Mm. That means a lot. Um, obviously, I, I've been very fortunate to be in this position. And, and again, Every day I go into work, it's about these young people. And yeah. it's about helping these guys reach their goals. But understand, I am a representation. And, and I get that. And, and, but I hope people see that, hey, with hard work and, and with giving the right opportunity, um, any of our young guys can have success. Exactly what we need this Thursday. So thank yep. you, Harry, for that. And thank you, Coach. And have an awesome season. We'll be cheering you on for sure. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.